I am Bashar Al Hashimi, Dean of the Faculty of Physical Sciences and Engineering. I was happy student. I enjoyed the social aspects of university, uh, but I was also determined student. Uh, I attended almost every lecture. I don't remember missing labs. Uh, I played a lot of sports and I socialized, but I knew I needed to do well at university in order to move forward in life. It was not uh, life first, university second, it was really university is an opportunity for me to build a strong foundation, so I was determined to succeed. When I finished my first degree, I went in as a, I think I was, my title was design engineer at BT Martisham, uh, just outside Ipswich, and uh, to work in a research lab. And I was there for about three months, and I decided to do a PhD after that. And the reason why I changed from working in industry to go and do a PhD, because all the exciting things were done by those with PhDs, and those without a PhD were just playing a supporting role. So again, I've realized the opportunity, um, and I spoke to my line manager and convinced him to fund my PhD. And that's exactly what, what they did. And I went to York to do my PhD. If you look at academics who have made name for themselves, academics who are respected worldwide, they tend to have something else besides just publications. And I've realized that for me to compete with the best research groups in the world, I need to be working closely with industry. And why industry? Because the type of problems we work on tend to be of interest to industry. And any academic research is based on assumptions. And if you work with industry, the assumptions you make tend to be more realistic than without working with industry. So again, this is all part of the big strategy about how you become a successful academics, is I realized that ARM is very important to my success, and in return, I knew that I could offer them something that they'll be interested, which is highly skilled graduate students and knowledge. And that's why it has worked very, very well, because we were both clear about what we contribute to each other. The faculty is one of the leading faculties in the UK. And for us to continue to be leading, we must invest and we must innovate. And Future Worlds allow us to innovate around enterprise. Brings together the mentors, the advisors, the investors in an environment where you'll be supported in taking an idea to real world business. Future Worlds allows the faculty to achieve the step change necessary in our enterprise activities so that we are distinctive when it comes to our offering to our students, to our staff.